Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Alifia. Uh, my name is Nur Najibah Shafir. Mm -hmm. uh, today we will going to present about the case of um, Malay Reserve Land, which is the name of the case is Zainal Abidin bin Muhammad Taib against Malaysia National Insurance Sederhan Berhad. Okay, first we look into the fact of the case. Okay, uh, in 23rd April 1982, uh, the plaintiff had borrowed uh, an amount of money, uh, 148,000, eh, 148,500 ringgit from the defendant. Then, um, in return, uh, the plaintiff had uh, charged his land to the defendant. So in 6 September 1982, uh, the defendant uh, received the land at the charge, the land as uh, the charge for the uh, debt from the plaintiff and he registered as the charge and his uh, application has been approved. Uh, and in 5th December 1991, the the approval of the application was gazetted in uh, the government gazette. Uh, even though uh, actually uh, the, the the defendant has not competent uh, to be approved the application. Yes. Um, and then on 17 June 1992. Uh, there was a meeting that had been made um, in the Majlis Mushawarat Negeri where in that meeting the um, uh, where in that meeting the the new date had been uh, proposed which is um, from uh, supposedly the defendant should have uh, should become the register of the land on 23 October 1991 but um, um, during the meeting, uh, the government or the Raja Raja Melayu, uh, Raja Raja Melayu himself have uh, transferred the date and the defendant should uh, become the uh, owner or the registered of the charge land on, um, on 1 January 1992. And then on 21 July 1992, um, the government have sent uh, the letter to uh, inform the defendant that uh, regarding the change of the date and on 11 October 1993 um, uh, the case have been uh, the plaintiff have brought the case to the court and then 11 October 1993 the court allowed uh, at first the court allowed the plaintiff's claim because uh, the plaintiff claimed that uh, they want uh, they said that there are there are a few a uh, few contentions that have been brought by the plaintiff. The first one is that the plaintiff stated that um, the the document or the transfer of the land uh, was actually was a uh, uh, null and void. And the second one is that uh, the plaintiff stated that the defendant should uh, within thirty days uh, from the um, charge of the land to the defendant uh, should return back uh, the land to the plaintiff. If not, the plaintiff will. Um, bring a suit towards the defendant, and then uh, because of that, uh, in, on 11 October 1993, the, uh, the court allowed the plaintiff's claim. But however, on 11 January 1994, there was a water crisis negeri that have been uh, brought up, brought up uh, regarding uh, which is um, re um, on which is uh, the water crisis negeri uh, mentions that uh, regarding the transfer of the the transfer of the date of the um, the transfer of the date that the defendant should become the registered property of the land and because of that um, the court um, reversed his decision and the court dismissed the plaintiff's claim and one more thing is that uh, the court have dismissed the plaintiff's claim upon the letter that have been brought by the Warta Kerajaan Negeri um, according to paragraph 3 according to section 70 clause 2 of the enactment and also, um, the court also have referred to section 22 of the enactment that stated that um, what have been um, agreed by the Raja itself, by the ruler itself, cannot be uh, amended by any court. So because of that, um, the court um, referred to what have been agreed by the ruler 
under uh, in the meeting and the court uh, disallowed the plaintiff claims and in this case the defendant win. So the issue of this case, uh, whether whether the court uh, has to reverse uh, the decision, whereby before this uh, the court affirm uh, the plaintiff uh, claim that uh, the the three uh, claims from the the plaintiff. So uh, because of the Porta uh, Kerajaan. Uh, whether the court has to reverse the decision because of that. Uh, the court, uh, the court uh, disallowed the plaintiff claim and stated that the defendant um, should, um, the defendant have the authority to still become the owner of the land. The land here is actually a Malay reserve land.